Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another edition of VGU Talks, and let's talk games. Now, as a big fan of Assassin's Creed, I couldn't wait to hear about the new Assassin's Creed Syndicate, the next instalment of the series that is to be set in 19th century England. Oh yeah. The game features the twins Jacob and Evie Fry as they carry on the tradition of assassination. Let's have a breakdown as to what the new title is going to bring to the table. A hot-headed, brash and rebellious brother teamed up with a relentless sister who doubles as a master of stealth. Both Jacob and Evie seem to be great new characters for the game, especially since they have conflicting personalities and allowing the players to switch between them at any point during the game. Of course there are going to be certain missions that can only be played by either the brother or the sister, but that is only to assist with the progression of their own personal stories. The plot as a whole, however, involves these two assassins heading into the city of London near the end of the Industrial Revolution. They wish to free the hard workers from poverty and stage an uprising against an oppressive establishment, concealing the Templars within. Now one big change that the new installment is bringing into the game is that the game is going back to being a strictly single player experience. Ubisoft, after being questioned about this move, responded that they wanted the team in Quebec to focus on the largest world we had ever seen in an Assassin's Creed game to date. They also stated that the map would be roughly 30% larger than Unity's map. That's pretty friggin' big! Now, has Ubisoft made the right move in making some pretty big changes to the series? Let me give you my two cents. First off, the theme. I have to admit, it's pretty awesome to witness. The trailer showcased a lot of features around London and some very true to history remarks about the slum filled streets and the arrogance of the men and women at the top of the food chain. The style of both the characters is well thought out also, but I can't help but think that Jacob took a lot of inspiration from Bloodborne. Secondly, the decision to make the game a single player only experience will only improve the story as well as the overall presentation of the game. When multiplayer was first introduced to the series, I was very much entertained by the idea of assassinating my friends online. However, the concept being repeated in every instalment for me ruined the single player experience. It always felt like the campaign could have been more fleshed out and had way more detail added in, but there were restrictions due to the inclusion of multiplayer. I for one am looking forward to possibly one of the best stories in the series since my time playing Assassin's Creed 2 with Ezio. Finally, I found myself very happy to see a female protagonist being played out in this world. We have seen female assassins in the series before, but now we get a proper chance to see what Ubisoft is capable of creating with a fully fledged lead character. I'm looking forward to their design and decisions, especially since the character so far seems really good. A strong woman figure that is very passionate about getting the job done, and is so good at her role that she has been dawned a master of stealth? That is nothing short of badass in my book, and I cannot wait to see more about her and her brother as we get closer to the release. Now the game is also no longer being developed for previous gen consoles and is staying with the PS4, Xbox One and PC. Some people will be upset by this, but Unity did show some promise on the next gen consoles. Hopefully with the full dedication from the dev team we can see this world given the justice we know it should have as well as see a tremendous lack in launch day bugs, no matter how hilarious some of them may have been. You remember that glitch face? Yeah, I, I, I don't know about you guys, as much as I would love to see glitch face return, I hope it's left to one side and it's fixed and we actually get proper human face. But those are my thoughts on Assassin's Creed Syndicate, as well as my thoughts on the near future of Assassin's Creed as a whole. Assassin's Creed is going in a great direction now and this might be the game to capitalise them on that next gen market. Will the game be good? I'm hoping it is, because this is already looking like the Assassin's Creed game I can get back into the series with. But enough about me, what about you? What are your thoughts on Assassin's Creed Syndicate, the characters, the world and everything in it that we know so far? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and I'll be seeing you guys for another edition of VGU Talks.